right so depending on where you are at if you in your bedroom on the bed on the couch please make sure that you get nice and comfortable you can lie down on the floor if you are seated please make sure that you are seated up against the wall or on a chair and if on a chair make sure that you don't fall off if you relax so rather don't sit in a chair actually please either lie on the floor or lie up <laughs> against sit up against the wall good so while you're getting comfortable and while you are lying down on the floor make sure that you are not causing yourself discomfort here so check in on your pelvis check in on your lower back if you want to bend your knees keep your feet flat then move your feet apart a little bit wider than hip distance so that your knees can fall in to each other make sure that your arms are out to the side palms facing up Good. just breathe into your shoulders release any tension there that you might still be holding on to move your head from side to side releasing any tension you might still be holding on in your neck good and then take another nice deep breath in breathe in as deeply as you can and then as you exhale release it out of your mouth with a big sigh <sighs> just releasing and letting go and we're going to do that three more times breathe in deeply and breathing out fully good last one good and then just bringing your focus and attention inwards feeling the whole back side of your body lying on the floor being supported by the floor being supported by mother earth the back of your head your shoulders your back your buttocks your legs if they're stretched out your calves all the way down into your heels and into your feet if your knees are bent your arms are either on the floor or resting on your pelvis Good. So moving more into relaxation rather than a yoga nidra, we're going to do a little visualization here. So just taking some time to scan through our body all the way from the crown of our head into our facial muscles, our shoulders, making sure that we are relaxed here, not holding any tension anywhere into our arms, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, our chest, our stomach, our upper back, pelvis. And if we feel any tension in any of these areas, then bring your focus and attention to that area and just breathe into it, breathing in the word let and breathing out the word go. Let go. And then moving through your body in this manner until you reach the pelvis, the buttocks, the legs, the knees, the ankles, the feet, the soles of your feet into the tips of your toes. And I'm just going to give you some time here to really scan your body of any, anything that might come up for you to breathe through, release and let go.
Good, and then very gently, very slowly bring your focus and attention to the task that you chose from our earlier exercise. Be it sleep, be it activity, be it meals, be it social relationships. And just once again, Check in on yourself, on the number that you gave yourself from one to 10 for this topic. And then as we spoke about putting a plan into place, I would like you to visualize yourself doing that now. So visualize yourself putting a plan in place in order for you to be able to move that number that um, you gave yourself to a higher number. Visualizing yourself putting your plan into place. What is it that you need to do in order to get to your goal? Visualize this happening now. And then visualize yourself in action. So if it's exercise, visualize yourself in an online aerobics class, or if you are able to do in-person classes, visualize yourself being there if that's your thing. If you've chosen social relationships, perhaps visualize yourself meeting up with those people that bring the best out in you, make you feel happy, wholesome, you. If you've chosen meals, visualize yourself sitting at the table and looking at this delicious, nourishing meal before you allow yourself to savor every moment of it. So whatever task you are visualizing yourself doing right now, really move into the feeling of it. How does it feel to be doing what you've set yourself out to do? Is there a sensation? Is there a feeling that comes up? Perhaps even a smell or a color. Just scan through your body to see how and if anything seems to have changed for you after putting this practice into place. Good. And then very gently ending off with your action. Finishing that delicious meal, saying goodbye to your friends, coming home from your exercise. How does that feel now after you've been able to put that practice in place? How does it feel after the practice? Do you feel happy, fulfilled, satisfied? Do you feel well nourished? And even note if you're feeling that something might be missing. Good. 
And then very gently, very slowly, start taking in deeper breaths to bring your awareness back into your physical being, your body lying in the room, on your floor, on your mat. Taking another deep breath in, and as you breathe out, gently starting to wiggle your fingers, your toes, moving your head from side to side. And on your next inhalation, give yourself a nice big stretch. Good, and then on the next exhalation, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And I always put this in. Give yourself a big, I love myself. We say that far too little. Do you say that? <laughs> Good. So give yourself a big love. We all need to love ourselves more. And then gently roll onto the side. Allowing shoulder to be above shoulder, hip above hip. Before you gently push yourself off and up into a seated posture. Good, well done guys. 